crispy chicken sandwich war is still underway. Today, it brings us to Sonic Drive-In. And I mean that as literally as possible. The only way I can get this food is drive-in only. Always talk about how I have to stage that first part of me walking in when the place is closed on the inside. I guess that's what we get for this health crisis still being ongoing. So right, chicken sandwiches. We have gone to all different types of places. We've even thrown a local place in there. Now the reason for checking out Sonic is, on paper, Sonic, and this is something that goes back a while, Sonic is the perfect fast food restaurant. Everything you could ever want is on the menu, beverages, shakes, burgers, fries, onion rings, mozzarella sticks, and just other weird creations like grilled cheese melts and things like that. Sonic and I don't have a great relationship because although they offer all those things, they're never quite great. But I've never tried the chicken sandwich, so today we're gonna we're gonna try the chicken sandwich. We're gonna see where it lands on our little continuum of fast food chicken sandwiches. And I'm not gonna make any presumptions about the quality until we try it. So here we go. And right now it's late October, I'm recording this and they gave me a this is how we summer bag. So uh, let's see what they, uh, let's see what Sonic gave me today. So while I unpack, I will tell you, when you don't get the meal at these places, they seem to kind of take advantage of you. I'm feeling this thing, and for the price I paid, $6.19, I, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but let's dig into the packaging. It's wrapped nicely. So here we are, based on feeling this, I can already tell you where this is going, so without any ado, let's dig right in. Now Sonic's chicken sandwich comes with a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of chopped lettuce, pretty unripe tomatoes. I think the lettuce and tomato really aren't necessary. Mayonnaise, you could argue, but let's go in for one more bite and then I will give you the final assessment here. I don't need that tomato crop. So here's the deal. If you put this and the Dairy Queen Grill and Chill sandwich in front of me, I don't think I'd be able to distinguish them. It is literally an identical sandwich. The bun is more of a potato bun. The bun is incredible. You really can't knock that bun, but the chicken is pretty, pretty deplorable. I would say maybe not quite as bad as McDonald's, but definitely on par with Dairy Queen. If you remember from the Dairy Queen video, the sandwich there was like super hot. This isn't, this is a normal temperature. I'm able to handle it just fine. Taste wise and like even looking at it, it looks like it's the same thing. No. Absolutely, 100%, not even close to $6.19 worth a chicken sandwich. I'm, a, I'm actually, I don't like to waste food. I'm not gonna throw it away. I might snack on it later, but for now, I, um, I don't need any more of that. The one thing that is pretty good at Sonic are their sides. I got some onion rings and these are pretty good. I uh, don't wanna go too far deep into this review, guys. Sonic always falls short. For what they offer, you can always get it better anywhere else. And that's unfortunate because given that they offer so many things, you really hope that they would do better. <sighs> if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe if you like food. Sometimes it seems like I'm a glutton for punishment with some of these chicken sandwich reviews. Oh boy, like today's. But last week we had an amazing one at Novo Kitchen, a local restaurant near me. You can check out that review right here.